Hello everyone, my name is Iris Franz, we are Lian Wairu. Today we are going to continue to talk about inflation. In particular, I want to talk about the winners and losers of an unanticipated inflation. So we know the definition of inflation is this, the general rise of price level such that the purchasing power of your dollar goes down. So, for example, previously the cost of a basket of goods is a dollar. And now, because of inflation, the same basket of goods and services cost $10. So in your mind, I want you to imagine that previously you have a dollar that is weighing this size. And then because of inflation, your dollar has become like, like this size. So previously, you could use a dollar to buy a basket. But with this kind of dollar, you will have to pay $10 for the same basket. So who is going to win and lose when there is an unanticipated inflation? So the first are the losers. Think about creditors, those who lend others money. So previously, I lent you, say, $100, 100 of this. But now, because of unanticipated inflation, I could only get back 100 of this. So of course, I'm going to be pretty upset. And also fixed income receivers, say, landlords, they um, already signed a contract, say, for a year that the rent for uh, um, their house is, say, $500. And they expect to receive 500 of this per month, but instead, they are getting 500 of this. Of course, this is only temporary, and after a while, they are going to rewrite the contract and renegotiate. So this is temporary. And savers. So think about this. You save, uh, say, $1,000 in a bank and you expect, hey, my savings, 1,000 of this. Now, because of unanticipated inflation, your um, saving becomes 1,000 of this. So you're like, yeah, not happy. What about winners? So debtors, those who borrow money from others. Say I borrow 100 of this. Now I only have to return with 100 of this. So they are the winners. And tenants, uh, my rent, I have to pay my landlord say $500 per month and I expect to pay this but eventually I only pay 500 of this. So these are the winners. Of course, again, this is temporary. After a year, they are going to rewrite the contract between the tenants and the landlords. And those who are unaffected by the inflation, so some union workers um, or whoever that has cost of living adjustments written in the contract, then they are not affected by the inflation because their contract will say, hey, um, if the inflation rate is 10%, then I'm going to pay you 10% more, something like that. So we call that COLAS, cost of living adjustments. So these are the winners and losers of unanticipated inflation. So in your mind, remember, think about this. That's before inflation and that's after inflation. I hope this helps. We'll see you next time.